What is good, everybody, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Warswag Gameplays and Boards. We are now officially about to do it. That's right. Did you guys know what I mean, man? We are in the playoff push, but before we even get past this whole season, regular season thing, right now, we're going to be breaking the single season record once again. This will be like the second straight time I do it. I can't wait to get back home from work. I'm giving you guys a little recording of today's gameplay to show you guys what's going on with the 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 Western Conference standing and the Eastern Conference standing. This is uh, the 2029 regular season. How can it get any better right now? Man, when I have put together the greatest team assemble in Laker history and also in NBA franchise history, but this is also in my career mode not my team not you know franchise mode whatever they call it in 2k these days this is my career mode ladies and gentlemen and what do we see here let's take a look at the western conference standing ladies and gentlemen you see my los angeles league with a whooping 66 to 14 Winning Wacker, man. They are on a tear throughout this entire season. And they have beaten every single team that they go up against. Nobody can come close other than the Washington Wizard. Let me repeat myself. The Washington Wizard were the only team that kind of gave me trouble. But even then, I still beat them i wish i recorded the games to show you guys how crazy and intense this team was in that matchup man you guys have been shocked there weren't any stars on this team let me tell you right now but there weren't any stars that were remotely on my level but yet this team was put together to almost beat us and he almost caused so much trouble to the point where we couldn't even catch up but I kept on grinding I kept on doing what I was doing and boom we get the W now if you look in the bottom section of the Western Conference you're gonna see the San Antonio Spurs back in the in the playoffs and you're gonna see the Houston Rockets back in the NBA playoffs you're going to see the Oak Hay Seas Thunder, the previous team I won three titles with, or also in the playoffs still. And then we got the Pelicans, they're in the playoffs, the Sacramento Kings in the playoffs, the Trailblazers somehow sneak their way into the playoffs, and then the Phoenix Suns. Over here on the other side... Guys, this is wild. I just now realized it, but if you look at the Eastern Conference standing, the Toronto Raptors are the number one seed team. And behind that team is the Detroit Pistons. Keep in mind, the Detroit Pistons had put together a really great team together. I'm going to show you guys it, but from what I'm seeing here, Kevin Durant in 2029 is 40 years old in this this micro thing he is 40 years old and he led that team to an nba playoffs in the eastern conference we all know what he could do in the eastern conference but he never won a championship but here we are kevin durant is about to potentially put this team in a position to basically make it to the championship if they do get to it i'm going all out i already beaten him in an NBA All-Star game. Boom. We did that. I beaten him when he was on the Detroit Piston. Boom. Did that. Now, we get to the NBA Finals. Whatever happens, happens. Let's leave it all on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you will look at the third column. We got the Charlotte Hornets. Where... La, I don't know, not later. Where the Mellow Ball... Leading the way as a third seed, they're in the playoffs. Now, this is going to be wild. I don't know what's exactly going to happen, but I'll tell you this right now. This team is primed for some really good stuff to happen, man. 
And uh, based on what I'm seeing, man, we're we still going to beat them. There's no other way to look at it. We're still going to beat them. But they're going to cause tr trouble. I have seen what this team can do, and I know how capable they are with the offensive scheme and then the passing of the metal ball and, uh, you know, the scoring ability that he has. I know what he can do with the ball. Then we look at the, the, the Nets. The Nets are in the playoffs. Surprisingly, they're in the playoffs. The New York Knicks is also in the playoffs. The 76 ers also in the playoffs. Uh, the Pacers in the playoffs. And surprisingly, there is no Boston Celtics in the playoffs. No Celtics. And then we only had the Bucks out there doing their thing, man. Now, look at this playoff session. Look what I've done with this NBA season, man. I have shut down the Denver Nuggets. Shut down any team that posed as a potential threat to my team. I did it. We didn't shut down the whole entire Western Conference and the only three team that is standing in the Western Conference is the Lakers, the San Antonio Spurs, and the Rockets. And you could put the Thunder in it too because they are my former team that I won three titles. Shout out to them, man. I love them. But hey, I'm a Laker for life. That's right, man. We're going to put this behind us and try to see if we can do this. Now, about today's matchup right here, I'm going to show you guys exactly what's going on with today's matchup. So, when I get back from, you know, from work, man, here's what we're going to be dealing with right now. We're looking at breaking the season points record once again, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm averaging 50 points, shooting 70.3 percentage from the three-point line, shooting 76.4 from the field goal. And it, it, it gets crazy, man. I'm averaging 3.1 assists per game, man. It just gets wild, man. All this. And to back it up, man, I'm going to show you guys what's going on with the awards section right here, man. If you look at here right now, man, look at me. I'm out here doing my thing, man. You guys know me. I am a beast with this team, man. Uh... Yeah, we're in the MVP conversation again, man. We are once again first place bullet as the number one MVP alongside John Morant, my team. And shout out to John Morant, the jaw. That's right, man. Shout out to him, man. He is out here doing his thing, and we both are two dominant players on the team, man. And look at Victor Romeo. He's almost trying to get there, man, but he's not going to make it, man. I'm sorry. He's not going to make it. Your boy is not going to make it. Victor, I'm sorry, buddy. You need to scoot on out of here, man. That MVP title is goes to me. Now, if you look at here on the uh, defensive player deal, he do get a defensive player year award, which has been kind of a... Uh, it has kind of been a habit for him to basically get the defensive player of the year. Shout out to him for getting that every single year. Uh, if you look at this session right here, the Clutch Player Award, I almost get it. But I don't know why 2K likes to hate on me for whatever reason. But hey, I'm literally destroying teams and you're not going to pick me as the Clutch Player. <laughs> Your boy right here, Sharp, is going to basically get the award. But you know what? 2K is hating on me. They know what they're doing. <laughs> They know what they're doing. You got your boy Devon and Metro and the Suns. He is out here balling. Uh, yeah. Out there. What we wrap this up. Most. So this is wild. They managed to get Cameron Durant and he's out here destroying teams, man. And to top it off, man, they got Usher Thompson, who I think was on the Houston Rockets. I'm not sure. Uh, this is one from the Houston Rockets. So they got a new star that is built around this team. They managed to build this team up from scratch, and they still keep their centerpiece franchise player, Isaiah Stewart. They get.
Western to my so not even Here, that is it. Once we We'll be in the top three and we'll have to set. That's right. That's it. Is. Gonna always be best. In other types of, sh doesn't matter what. It could be GTA for. I'm still gonna be out here balling in 2K because it's a big, big community out there in 2K. But it's also one of my favorite games to play. I don't care. I'll just be just chilling, you know, doing my thing, balling and destroying team and wrecking the harbor. That's what I like to do on my day when I'm off from work. So when I really want to grind. Oh, oh, that's. Put together, you can see in the locker room, if you guys can pop. In the locker room, there is this one. On this team, I'm so you know where to find me, man. What's right, game please? Love you guys, man. Every single day, it's always something fun going on, man. So, um, I could kind of end this gameplay off, but if you guys really, really want to take a look at that roster, man, I would love to take. If you really want to see this lineup and want to see how this would look and play out. This is how it's going.
see that dude. But I knew I would have. But it is what it is. I'm not even trying to like hold grudge for my coaches, man. They have some coaches now with being coached by one just passed away, man. And uh, never got a chance to really be coach. Uh, coach Gerber, man. Side the O. We went all Tesla, just let me know if this is done. The album hit me hard and so uh -uh. uh -uh. right. anyway. Like I said, man, that's it. If you guys are new to the channel, man, do you want to see? Uh, man, I got some big news going on over here. We are about to acquire LaMelo Ball in the 2029, no, no, the 2020 Dirty Season. This is crazy. This guy is going to be acquired. And it, it's time. It's time for LaMelo Ball to basically play alongside me. But also, it's time for anthony Eckford to basically go on to another team i'm sorry that is what i have to do he's played multiple season in minnesota did not win a damn thing there's gonna be some people saying war what are you doing man i'm like no 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 he got to go he's got to get off the team man look at this overall man he's over 89 he's time for him to go he has not won a goddamn thing man and it's just a shame man I like Anthony Ever, man. I want him to really have a great career. Even though this is just 2K in general, it's not a real thing. But I love, I love to watch certain basketball players really get that chance to win. And I got Lamelo Ball on the number one list in the free agency. I got Anthony Ever, and then to top it off with the free agent moves, I went on to get Lasso Ball. I believe I got him in the session right here. So not only if we're getting the Metal Ball, we're getting Lasso Ball. As well, too. We have to get him, or it's going to be too late because we, I feel like Lonzo Ball is going to basically do what he can do, but I don't know if he can. But maybe his brother can help out. Maybe I can help get them a ring. It, they don't have to do much. As far as I can tell, man, Lonzo Ball can still do what he do, man. He can still play, make, and still be able to pass as well. We're gonna need, we're gonna need that. We don't need the shooting. That the shooting be done for me. I'm going to get them their ring, man. I'm guaranteed that, man. I'm going to get them their ring. The same way I got LeBron his final ring, his fifth ring, it's the same way I'm going to do it for LaMelo Ball and Lonzo Ball and Anthony Eric. I'm going to carry these three and show them the way how to win championship. Then I'm going to probably split up and go to another team or 3P with them. Who knows what can happen? All I can say right now is uh, John Morant is still going to be here. Uh, Kyrie is probably going to leave. That's why I'm going to grab Anthony Edward. 
and uh, we we already set with Carl Anthony Towns. We're already set with Anthony Davis, possibly playing his his uh, hey, how many seasons he's playing? Possibly he's playing his 18th season. And then um, if Anthony Davis do decide to walk, we have Kenneth Lofton Jr. to play for us at this point. We have Kenneth Lofton Jr. to play the center position. We're kind of set. If for some reason Kyrie do decide to leave, um, Isaac could take the shooting guard position. Isaac could be a shooting guard or the backup shooting guard of Anthony Everett. Boom. I'm already set, ladies and gentlemen. You always know how I get down on 2K. If you don't know how to build a team, man, don't even do it. Don't do it, bro. If you know how to build a team like me, like, you know you're going to be flying in 2K. You can come home every single day and chill, you know, grab a beer or just grab a drink. It doesn't even have a beer, a soda, whatever you're going to grab. Um, and, and just sit down and enjoy yourself, man. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Play some basketball. If that's what you love doing. Keep doing it. If you get paid to do this stuff, man, I would love to do that too. Get paid, you know, um, get people to support that channel, man. I would love for that to happen. Um, I know it's been kind of long, but like you know how it is, man. Anyway, I'm out of here right now, man. There's just been so much good stuff going on with 2K. I've just absolutely been just bringing it. Do it entirely, and you you look at the Hall of Fame section right here. Um, yep, I am hitting seven Hall of Fame milestone, man, and I am done for the day. Until later, peace out. What's red?